Friday, September 25th here in beautiful northwest Wisconsin. Uh, about 75 degrees, a little bit of wind, overcast day. Um, since we're into fall here and uh, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, feeding coming up and, and prepping for winter, I'm going to go through and do a pretty thorough inspection of my hives, see how their food stores look, uh, health of the queen, uh, so on and so on, so that we can figure out what to do with these for prepping with the winter. So stay tuned. All right, let's take a look at this new cure, or bee builder as they call it. This has a Saskatrash queen, a uh, really young colony yet. Started them out with just a couple frames and a queen, uh, maybe only a month ago. Uh, since then, I've added a second story to them so they could help build up some more bees and build up some frames for me. And let's take a peek and see how they're doing. Well, there's not a whole lot of bees, but it does look like they're uh, working on the second level here. Oh yeah, starting to draw some comb on that frame. Putting up some honey, sugar water. Same thing on this side. So they're they're up in this top box now and they're being productive. Which is a good thing. Not sure if uh this colony is gonna be worth trying to keep over winter on their own or just combine them with my other colonies. We'll see how they do. A little early yet, I think, to make that decision. few beetles in there. Not very many. Now this box looks like it's got quite a few bees in it. Let's see if we can find that queen. Let's see what they've got for food storage down here. Fill that side up with honey. And this side's got some larvae, some cat brood. Uh, looking pretty good. Nice shiny white larvae. That means that uh, they're making some good winter bees now. That's good. You've seen a bald-faced hornet come up through the frame. Nice frame of cat brood. Honey, syrup, water, everything all around the top. Got some larvae, some pollen, lots and lots of cat brood. So this hive's sitting pretty good on bee production. What else they got for me here? Let's see if I can get my eyes on that queen. There she is. Another nice frame of cat brood. There's my Saskatrash queen. Right there in the bottom left. Hopefully you can see that nice and close. She's a beautiful big girl. Blue dot. Here maybe you can see some of them cat or white larvae in there next to the cap cells. Let's 
Get her back in here. This little nook's looking pretty good. Got a lot of uh, cat brood for winter bees. Got quite a bit of pollen. They're working on storing up some honey, which I'm going to keep feeding them. Maybe I will try and winter this nuke. Yeah, this frame's full of nectar and capped honey. Looks like they might make it. Got a couple, three weeks at least left of feeding sugar water, so we'll see. Maybe I'll try and overwinter a nuke. Uh, first time beekeeper here, but uh, any comments or suggestions on uh, overwintering this nuke or prepping it more for winter? Please subscribe or make comments. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks.